Howdy, AP Breakout. It's Miss Kosh. We are working through how I like to do 3-7. Well, every, all of this is new to me. So we, um, I have a video for the FRQ3. Um, I worked through some of this stuff where they're asking me about the equation and all this kind of stuff. Um, there, this isn't really a word problem yet, but now we have a word problem. And I categorize those in my head as harmonic motion. Maybe it's simple harmonic motion, but okay, whatever. Um, okay, I haven't read the problem, so here we go. A child on a merry-go-round at the fair waves to her parents who are standing in one spot. The child is six feet from the parents when directly in front of them and 24 feet away from them on the opposite side from her parents. The merry-go-round takes 30 seconds to make a complete rotation. At time t equals zero, the child is in directly in front of her parents. Okay, so at time zero, the child is directly in front of her parents, which means that time t, so this is t, and the distance away from the parents is six feet. Okay, um, and then if it takes 30 seconds to do a complete rotation, we would also have at time 30, we're six feet away. Okay, and then halfway through that time, so as she's moving doo -doo 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 around the merry-go-round, um, we took my nieces and nephew on the merry-go-round over Christmas time. It was very fun. They really enjoyed it. Um, okay, um, when she's halfway through the time, so we'd have time 15, she would be the, the um, 24 feet away. So halfway through this time that it takes to go around the merry-go-round, she is the as far from her parents as she'll ever be, well, on the merry-go-round. Okay. Um, so the sinusoidal function m models the distance between the child and her parents in feet as a function of time in seconds. The graph of m uh, and its dashed midline, here's the midline, uh, for four, four, <laughs> four two full cycles is shown. Find points a, b, c, and d. Um, no scale is indicated, no axis or determined possible coordinates. Okay, so what I know here is that she is as close, I would say, this here at the bottom is as close as she'll ever get. So this is definitely has a y coordinate, it's something x comma, our y value is six, because that's as close as she'll ever get. This is something comma 24, because that's as far as she'll ever get. Um, these boxes were too small. I mean, it's a good idea, but um, I write too big. Okay, and then halfway, so what's this distance? This is 18, so we add nine, we're at 15, add nine again. Okay, so this is gonna be something, and then nine as the distance, so something comma nine. Um, but they're telling us that at time zero, she's as close as she gets. Um, so what I might do is I might, if this is zero, then these become negative, which is fine. Um, let's see. Well, let's just say, okay, let's say this is zero. Then this means what she's gone as far as she wanted to by 15. So then this is halfway through. This is 7.5 or 15 over 2. So this is a negative, oh man, this is messy, a negative 15 over 2. And this is a negative 15. I mean, it doesn't really make sense in the context of the problem. Um, well, okay. Then we could back this up and say, okay, here's this point, And then here's this point. This, we could say, is time zero. We could say this is zero, six. We could say that this is um, 15 over 2, comma, 9. We could say that this is 15. 24, we could say that this one is 15, uh, that's 30, 45 over 2, mm -hmm. okay, comma 9, then this becomes, so then she's done one full rotation at 30 seconds, so this is 30, comma 6. So that's another way to write that. Um, I, in my opinion, this graph is great and wonderful, but it doesn't quite fit the, the scenario, but if I were starting from scratch, I would, I would, I would have changed it a little bit. Does that make sense? I would have said, um, at time zero, she's here. I would have gone like this and said, Doo -doo 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 -doo, like that. Because at time zero, she's as close as she gets, and then she goes farther away. Whatever. Okay. Um, write the coordinates of the rectangular box. I kind of did, and I kind of did in two different directions, two different ways. Um, so let's use the green. Um, and they want it to be sine. So if I do a sign, I can look at one, two, three, four, five points right there. This becomes a sine curve. And so my um, m of t would equal um, my amplitude. I go from 9 to 24 was, what did we just say that was? That's, did I do this wrong? Oh, I sure did. <laughs> did y'all catch what I did? All those nines, wrong. 
I needed to add 9 and get to, so 6 plus 9 is 15. Add, oh, I wrote it down. I didn't write it down. That's what my problem was. Add 9 more, and I'm at 24. Okay, so this should have been a 15. Oh, what a mess. Okay, you know what? Let me start again. Let's just, so what we have, this is how I would teach this. I would say we're at time 0. Okay. Here is, this is the point 0, 6. This is the point, um, we were at 15 seconds, we were 24 feet away. So half of this is um, 15 over 2 or 7.5, we'll say, we'll go with that. We had to, this total distance is 18. So half of it is 9, so I don't make this 9, I make this 9 more than 6. My apologies. You get to watch me struggle because it's part of the fun. Um, and so this has also got a y value of um, 15. And then this would be, it took us 30 seconds to get back here, and that's at 6. Okay, so now if they want me to write a sine curve, my amplitude, so um, what did they say m? I think it was m of t. m of t is equal to our amplitude was 9 sine. Okay, I haven't figured out my period. Uh, well, let's see if anybody comes to see me. Uh, 2 pi over b is equal to 30. So b is equal to um, pi over 15. Yeah, multiply, divide. Okay. Um, so pi over 15. But I do need to shift this. Um, I need to shift it but from the origin. I need to shift it right. So minus 7.5. And then I need to shift it up 15. That's my midline. Okay, that was harder than it needed to be, but there we go. That is an equation. If you'd found something else, plug both of them into Desmos and see if you got the right thing. Um, that's the end of the stuff with the, without the calculator. I want to do this with the calculator, and actually, I need to go home. So I will come back and do that on another day. Y'all have a good one. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you later.